Hello students, welcome you to my YouTube channel. As you know, this channel is um, best for ICSC Physics class 9 and 10. Today, we are going to discuss in this video about simple machines, with chapter number 3 of ICSC class 10. So, let's start our uh, topic of discussion simple machines. This is the part 1. And very soon I'll come with part two, where I'll discuss about types of simple machines and some numerical problem based on that. So let's start simple machines part. Let's start simple machines part one. In this part, we are going to discuss about different terms of simple machine. What is simple machines, and what is the relationship between different terms used in a simple machine? And what are the types of machine and to get some more updates you can like my channel subscribe my channel to start the video first you have to know what is a machine then come to the simple machines and the term used in it when we are using the term machine what is a machine Machine is a that device which makes our work easier. Means by giving less amount of force, we can do more work. Second thing, this makes our work faster. Faster means in less time, we can do more work. And machine also can be used to change the direction of force applied. Means we want to bring an object upward, where that time we are giving the force downward or to lift some heavy object means machine is having a different uh, function for which purpose we are using the machine that one we have to look so machine is any device which makes our work easier or gain in speed here you can get one term gain in speed gain in speed means when your uh, work is faster we can complete the work in very very less time uh, a simple machine is a device that helps us to overcome a large load by getting small effort. Means by giving less amount of force, we can do more work at a convenient point towards our DJI direction. Means which side we want to move the object, that side if we are able to move. That is, in a uh, towards our DJI, uh, DJI direction, we can say. Help us to get obtain gain in speed. Means uh, we can do the work in less time. Means Machine is used for two reasons, gain in force or force multiplier, gain in speed or speed multiplier. Means by giving, um, by using less force we can do the work or we can do the work in less time. For that reason we are using the machine or whichever substance we are looking around which makes our work easier or faster. Machine uh, two type, one the simple machine and the complex machine. Here we are going to discuss about simple machines. What a simple machine is? Simple machine category we are having uh, knife is simple machine, nail cutter simple machine, stapler simple machine, knot cutter simple machine. Means this, all this item what you are using in day-to-day -day life is all in the category of simple machine. This definition of machine, uh, if we recall the film 3D, in that, but long definitions we got from a bookworm. The definition of machine machine according to that person the tool thing is like this a machine is a combination of body so connected that their relative motion are cons constant and by means of which force and motion may be transmitted and modified this screw and it's not or a lever arranged to turn about a fulcrum or a pulley about this pivot especially a construction more or less complex consisting of a combination of moving parts or simple mechanical element with lever can sit. Means here we got different types of machine. Screw is a machine, uh, lever is a machine, wheel is a machine, pulley is a machine. Means this all other types of machine. And this both the definition people look, people uh, analyze both these definition, you will get the machine is anything which makes our work easier and faster. So machine, it will come to the function of machine. Here you can see, to lift a machine 
that help to make our work easier and faster and also it will do different more function if we look here transporting a force from one place to another means we can uh, stack a heavy load from one part to another by using machine changing the direction of force applied means in uh, by using uh, if little bit you will recall uh, and same time in or uh, before some 10 year 20 year ago people uh, in villages they were using pulley to leap to take the water from down to up in a wheel means when they are pulling the rope downward the what bucket of water was coming upward that is the changing the direction of force increasing the magnitude of force means by giving less amount of force it will able to do some more work increasing the distance speed of a force means by giving the force if you want to do the work that time time taken to do the work will be less so here you can see the technical term related to machine means whenever we are using a machine some terms we are using in that so what are the term and how we can define to them or what are they here we are going to discuss first one is load the resistive force that is overcome by machine means on which object we are giving our force or that object which has to move from one part to another or that object which has to be come from down to up that is load and at which point we are giving our force or the point at which machine is giving the force is the load point means machine is giving the force to that object which is load and how much force we are giving to the machine that what you can say is the effort what means whenever we are giving some amount of force to the machine and machine machine will overcome that load means to move one object from one part to another we are giving our force to the machine the machine will apply that same force or more force to that object to move from one place to another so that force given by us to the machine is the effort and on which point we are applying our force it is called effort point and another one when we will able to know about the load and effort the ratio so the ratio of load to the effort is called mechanical advantage or in short ma mechanical advantage because the ratio is not having any unit so this mechanical by knowing the mechanical advantage also we will able to know is it speed multiplier or force multiplier it means this machine is used to make our work easier or faster or it is used to give our force in a convenient direction first one if we look here ma if load by effort is greater than one load by effort is greater than one means what that means load is more effort is less so that is called force multiplier means less effort is required to move a heavy load mechanical advantage less than one that means load is less effort is moved that time it is speed multiplier means to give out or to make our work faster and when ma equal to one it is used to change the direction of force applied means we want to take a heavy load from down to up that time we are giving our force downward object is coming upward the pulley time it is used ma equal single fixed pulley we will read uh, later on i uh, will discuss later on about this all so ma equal to one that time ma it's just a number because it's a ratio so it is not having any unit for this region so ma is just a ratio between load and effort as you we have discussed one term is the mechanical advantage here uh, the time for another term the term is velocity ratio but that velocity ratio actually mean velocity ratio as the term suggests velocity ratio it is the ratio between the velocity which velocity the velocity of effort to the velocity of load Velocity of velocity means what? The displacement type travel per unit time means how much distance travel by a body in a given direction per unit time is the velocity due to the effort how much it will move divided by due to the load how much it will move means effort side how much the moment and load side how much the moment we will take now the ratio we will take the ratio here velocity ratio equal to de by t by dl by t in the displacement due to load due to effort by time by displacement due to load by time because up to how much time effort is used how much time we are giving the force to the machine that much time only load can move from its original position I mean the time for effort and time for load movement is same for that reason we'll get the ratio here 
TT will cancel and DE by DL. And velocity ratio also can uh, be used to know a machine is speed multiplier, force multiplier, or it is used to change the direction. If gr is greater than one, we got in MA case also. If MA is greater than one, means for force multiplier, MA and VR both greater than one. In case of speed multiplier, MA and VR both less than one. And to change the direction of effort, MA and VR both equal to one. But most of the time, due to friction or due to the wastage of energy, MA may be uh, not equal to VR. Means VR always greater than MA for actual machine, but MA equal to vr in case of a uh, ideal machine and vr is just like ma it is just a number a ratio this having no unit so here one more thing if you look work in input means how much work done on the machine and so whenever we are giving work done means the force into displacement here we got the force our force given the machine is effort e and how much displacement due to the effort is the de so e into de is the work input Whereas work output, if you look, how much work done by the machine, that means load is the uh, force here and the displacement due to load is the displacement. So we'll get load L into DL is the work output. So work input and work output are equal for ideal machine means DE into E equal to DL into L in case of ideal machine for practical machine. Work input always greater than work output because some amount of energy is waste due to our friction and any other unusual form of energy or due to some energy loss. So if we look here, one more term is the efficiency. Efficiency means depending upon the machine, this efficiency change. So what the efficiency is? So if in a test of 100 mark all the students given the same question paper for all the students same timing for the all the students same total mark 100 but some are getting 20 marks some are getting 90 marks some are getting 30 marks some are getting 80 marks why because all are having different talent all are having different uh, what you can say is the knowledge about that particular concept so that's the efficiency efficiency actually work output to the work input or power output to the power input or we can say energy output to the energy input means how much we are getting from the machine by energy given to the machine work how much we got from the machine by how much work done on the machine or power how much we got from the machine or output from the machine by our input yeah, on the machine so the efficiency so when are calculating in percentage that is called efficiency percent it will get a machine new one so that is having the efficiency more means it will do the work in less time and when we are using a machine old one that is having the efficiency more. in this a machine having efficiency 100 percent is called an ideal machine where work input and work output are equal but a machine having efficiency less than 100 percent is called practical machine where work uh, input is greater than work output. Here you can see why we are having uh, less efficiency in practical or actual machine. It is called practical practical machine or actual machine. Why not we are having hundred percent? Because most of the energy waste in the form of friction. So all the moving parts are not frictionless. Means the moving parts are having some amount of friction because of which energy waste. Things are not perfectly elastic because elasticity when they are so elasticity is the property of a body when external force applied to it it uh, uh, expand and once the force release it will come to the original state is all the strings are not perfectly elastic and parts are not perfectly rigid because of which some amount of energy waste and once the energy waste means input energy now more output energy will be less which is because of which efficiency of a machine is less than 100% and if we look here, now the relationship between three terms what we read uh, first one is the efficiency vr velocity ratio ma and current but efficiency if we look work output by work input first one to know what is the relationship between them work input 
to look here work input means this uh, work done means force into displacement so here you can see effort into displacement effort. second one work output means from load into displacement of load so load into displacement l into dl so here you can see the efficiency equal to work output by work input that means l into dl by e into de so we'll get here the relation to look l into dl by e into de e means here one term use look here this this one used for efficiency is a greek letter known as eta 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 and l into dl this is the work output e into de this is the work input so we'll get if we look the relation here we'll get l by e into dl by de l by e which is the mechanical advantage but de by dl that is the ratio that means ma equal to sorry uh, efficiency equal to ma by here or efficiency equal to this one here you can see efficiency equal to the is a symbol used for that m m a pi v r m um, efficiency into v r is equal to means this is the relationship between mechanical advantage just ratio and efficiency from this also you can say is the ideal machine the practical machine means ideal machine case m a equal to v r but in case of uh, actual machine or practical machine m a is always less than v r so if we look here, there is a difference, the difference between ideal machine and practical machine. So many difference between them. One case MA equal to VR, one case MA is less than VR. Ideal machine case efficiency is 100%, but practical machine, actual machine case efficiency less than one or, or less than 100%. Output, input, work done, energy, same for ideal machine, but practical machine time always output less than input. And ideal machine will not get in uh, practice means originally will not get because anyhow some amount of energy waste in the form of friction but practical machine actual machine which is we are using the machine used is practical machine so this is all about the fundamental concept of machine next video will uh, discuss about the numerical uh, related to diff all this relation and the types of simple machines and their uses and the concept about pulley so for this to get the new updates uh, you have to subscribe my channel if you feel this video is helpful for you like my video and give your comment in the comment box you can put some question also i'll give your answer put your question in the comment box thank you